The following is a selected video from MasterTheContent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit MasterTheContent.com. Your career, our passion. There we go. Okay. Weak bases, right? They what they do is they accept the proton, right, from a water molecule, giving us a conjugate acid and a hydroxide uh, anion, as we see here. Furthermore, if you want to find the strength of that base, one way of uh, testing that is through the equilibrium equation, right, and the equilibrium constant for, it, for the base is called the base dissociation constant, as we see here. Okay, great. Now, if you haven't seen if you're not familiar with this equation here, we have covered it in the previous lecture when we talked about pH and pOH, so I recommend that you go revisit that. But just as base strength increases, your, hyd your hydroxide ion concentration increases. And in the same manner, when your base strength increases, so does your base dissociation constant, as we just, as we just talked about, right? Furthermore, when your pOH decreases, right, your base is going to be stronger. So if we remember, pH plus pOH equals 14. Now, if pH were to equal 12 and pOH were to equal 2, this is going to be a very basic solution, right? And we know that because the pH, we know that because the pH is 12. Thus, as the base strength increases, the pOH decreases and just as the pOH decreases so does your pKb value so as base strength increases your base dissociation constant will increase which makes sense because the base is, uh, is a stronger base furthermore your pKb value will decrease which also makes sense just as your pOH value decreases okay wonderful so let's just go ahead and do an example of this and we'll do that on the next slide Perfect. Okay, before we do that, let's uh, <clears throat> take a look here at base dissociation constants at 25 degrees Celsius. So here is an example of, uh, of a few base dissociation constants for you guys to, to just take a look at the base, the molecular formula, and the base dissociation constant. And we'll be taking a look, uh, we'll be using a few of them throughout the acid and base lectures. So we put a, a slide together for you guys. And the first one we'll use is ammonia, and we'll take a look at that on the next slide. Okay, great. Now we're going to do, oh, we're going to do an example of weak bases here. With this weak base, they're asking us, what is the pH and the OH concentration in a 0 0.3 molar uh, ammonia solution? And the base association constant is given to us. Okay, great. We can find the pH from the hydroxide ion concentration, right? And the 